Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get from the moderate NAT type to the open NAT type. So I'm booting up Modern Warfare here just to show you how you find out your NAT type. So from the main menu just go to options and then in the bottom left you'll see that it says moderate down there. So that means that you might not be able to connect to some of your friends and you might be experiencing a little bit more lag because it's putting you on um, a smaller pool of servers so it might put you on servers that are further away so that might increase your ping in game. So we're going to be using a method called port forwarding which will open certain ports on your internet connection in order to connect to the game properly. So the first thing we need to find out is the gateway IP. So this is the IP address of your router so this will tell us which um, IP address that we can access in order to forward the ports okay so what you need to do to find out your gateway IP is just go to the search bar in the bottom left corner you just type CMD and press enter so this will bring up the command prompt here there's this command that you can find in the description you just copy and paste it straight in using control C and control V then you just press enter and very quickly it will give you your gateway IP just here okay so you need to write this down or just write it in a little notepad document or something because you'll need this in a minute so the next thing you're going to do is click your network icon in the bottom right corner. You're going to click network and internet settings. Then change connection properties. Then you're going to go and find edit under the IP settings. So here you're going to be setting up a static IP so that the ports can be forwarded to your computer every time. So you need to change the IP settings to manual because they'll probably be on automatic. You're going to make sure the IPv4 is on you're going to select yourself an IP address to use. So in this example, because my gateway is 192.168.0.1, which we found out earlier, I'm going to be using 192.168.0, and then you can put whatever number you want afterwards. I just went with 101 because it's very unlikely that this number is going to be used on the network, so feel free to use this one. Subnet prefix length will pretty much always be 24, so you want to stick with that. And the gateway we found that out earlier using the command prompt okay so with gateway it's 192.168.0.1 but it may be different depending on what you found in the previous step now one thing to note with your static IP address at the top there is it needs to be the same as the gateway apart from the final number okay so if yours was 192.168.1.1 then your IP address that you set at the top would need to be 192.168.1.101 for instance okay for the DNS, you can leave these blank if you want, but I find these work quite nicely and they'll work with any connection. So 1.1.1.1 and then 1.0.0.1, absolutely fine. We won't worry about IPv6 because that won't be useful to us now. Just click save and exit out. So to do this on the PS4 is really easy. You just go over to settings, you open up settings and you go down to network. You go set up internet connection and you're going to choose Wi-Fi or LAN cable. And then you're going to go to custom and you're going to go manual and then you're going to add in your details here so what you might notice here is I'm using .103 for my IP address that's because I have the game both on PlayStation and PC so I'm setting up my PS4 to have a different static IP address okay so later when you go to forward the ports you'll notice that I'm using .101 but if you're doing this um, using 103 like I am here then you want to forward your ports to 103 okay your subnet mask should be set to 255.255.255.0 your gateway should be what we found out earlier using the CMD and then primary DNS and secondary DNS will be the same as the PC 1111 and 1001 just click next that can be automatic you don't want to use a proxy and then you can just test your connection out there just to make sure it's all working so the next thing you want to do is actually forward these ports to the static IP that we've set up. So what you want to do is open your web browser, so for instance I'm using Chrome, and you just type in the default gateway that we found earlier into the URL bar at the top and then just press enter. Okay? You'll need to sign into the router. Usually this password will be found on the bottom of the router on a sticker or something perhaps. Um, if you can't find it, it's sometimes worth just Google searching the default router login so that'll have a username and a password you can usually find these quite easily online in my example I'm using the Virgin Media Hub but you can do this in any router 
So the next thing to do will be to find out where your port forwarding options actually are. And this will vary between different routers. So what you can do is just quickly Google search how to find um, the port forwarding settings on your model of router. So you just type in what router you've got and how to find port forwarding settings. Sometimes it's quite easy. So on um, the Virgin Media Hub, it is quite easy. Just go to advanced settings and then security and you'll find it there. So what you're going to do is just find the button that allows you to create a new rule and you'll be greeted with a screen similar to this one. It might look a bit different on yours, but it should have some of the same features. So for local IP, this will be the IP address that we set up in the previous step on your Windows desktop, okay, in your settings. So this will be, for my example, it was 192.168.0.101, okay? So that will be the IP address that I put in there because that's where I want to forward the ports to. And then in the start and end ports, we'll just use the ports that you see on the left-hand side of the screen. These are also available in the description. So, for example, we're going to put in 3074. And because it's just one port, we'll put the same in start port and end port. And you can see that I've put TCP and UDP next to the numbers up there. And because 3074 is being used on both protocols, we'll make sure we've selected both at the bottom here. Make sure it's enabled and then add the rule. And for this next example, I'll be inputting a range of ports. So for this one, obviously I'll put in my IP as normal, the same IP we've been using. In the start port, we'll put the start port of the range, so this will be 27014. And then in the end port, we'll put 27050. And then we'll repeat that for the uh, external ports as well. And for this one, this one's just for TCP. So what you do is you go into protocol, you'll choose TCP, you'll enable it, and then you'll add the rule. And you'll just keep going through this process until you've added all the numbers in the description that I've just described and make sure you're getting them correctly into TCP and UDP okay um, towards the end you'll find that some of the ports overlap and your router might say like mine does that this rule already exists and in this case you can just cancel and not put that rule on because the router has worked out that you need that port okay so if it says this port's already being opened then happy days it's open for you and now what we're going to do is just reset our connection. So what you could do now is go and restart your router, wait for it to boot back up, and then you can see if your ports are working. But in order to make sure this is completely reset, what we'll do is we'll just go back to that icon in the bottom right-hand corner, your network icon. You go to the settings, you'll click Network and Sharing Center. You'll go to Change Adapter Settings in the window that pops up. Just right-click on your Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection and it will have a button that says disable. So just click disable, wait about five to 10 seconds, and then re-enable it. That will just refresh your internet connection. And now hopefully when you do start up the game again, you'll find that when you go back to the options, you'll find the NAT type to be open in the bottom left-hand corner. And this should help you get um, better quality games and connect to people that you may not have been able to connect to before on the game. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this has helped you. If you have any questions, just stick them down in the comments and I'll get back to you with, uh, with my best effort. If you like the video, please like and subscribe because I'm fit, you're not. Deal with it.